Hello friends. It has been a long month without stories. It is time for a story time. And there have been many changes this month, but this is not my dog. Alas, this is just my dear friend. And we'll see if she'll stay for a story time. But um, I have moved, so we're looking for the new storybook and the new abode. We haven't necessarily found it yet, but let's try a, try a few places out um, in time, I hope. Um, spring has sprung in the last month. All manner of sprouts and flowers are coming. And um, I have a new niece in my friend family, so... Welcome, Franny, to the world. <laughs> this guy likes being on the edge. Um, this gal. And so I thought it was time to read a children's story. It's been a long minute. So we're going to have a children's book here. And um, it's also, I wanted to note that it's also the 25th of May, which in my ancestral home of Yugoslavia was uh, the Day of Youth, which was one of the most important holidays in the calendar year. Um, and I really think that the spirit of that holiday is also shared with the spirit of this book. So I wanted to note that as it was a holiday that really uh, denoted rebirth, renewal, um, hope, and the hope that youth specifically um, holds and symbolizes for the, all the rest of us who are no longer young. Um, possibility change. Um, and I think this book really speaks to the way that, um, earth is not separate from us and that we ourselves are earth and the, um, you'll see, I, I won't even speak to it. You'll see. It's just a stunning book, beautiful images and simple, beautiful message about our, uh, deep interconnection, uh, with all that is alive. And so, um, I will actually read to you the author's note before I start reading the book. I don't really know anything about Mark Majewski. This is my first uh, experience or encounter with this uh, artist and his beautiful work. I know that he lives in Berlin and that he is French, uh, although this book is originally written in English. Um, and the book is called Does Earth Feel? And its subtitle is 14 Questions for Humans. And I also want to make a shout out to the a wonderful bookseller at uh, John and Quarterly, La Petite, um, who pointed me in the direction of this book. We had a lot of shared beloved children's books in common and um, props to, to DQ and all of the uh, independent booksellers that we know and love in all of our many homes. And so the author's note. How do we know Earth feels? One of our greatest strengths as humans is our capacity to empathize with one another. That means we can feel what the other feels. When I see a forest going up in smoke, I feel the flames myself. When I gaze upon the moon's reflection on a lake, I feel as calm as the still waters. It is empathy that connects us and allows for compassion and love. We cannot fully understand what we do not feel. We often practice empathy for other humans, but we forget that we are also part of a larger family. From delicate spiders to big elephants, and within lush jungles and the deepest seas, we are all Earth, dependent on one another for survival. This fragile balance has been endangered by our lack of love and knowledge. This is our only home. The time is now to honor Earth's natural past, open our eyes to the present, and protect the future for those still to come. Will you join me?
Does Earth Feel Alive? Does Earth Feel Calm? Does Earth feel content? Does Earth feel rested? Does Earth feel curious? Does Earth feel friendly? Does Earth feel lonely? Does Earth feel hurt? Does Earth feel tired? Does Earth feel sick? Does Earth feel heard? Does Earth feel protected? Does Earth feel loved? And you? What do you want Earth to feel?